Welcome back everyone, I'm Philip here from Blackwell Markets, hope you're all doing well. In this video again, we'll be following up from our MT5 tutorials. This video, I'll show you guys how to set up your charts and how to customize your platform to suit your needs. Now, I've got a couple of setups that I'll be using uh, or sort of a layout that I'll be using. Uh, so I'll show you guys how I set that up, but obviously you guys can follow the same uh, steps just to different colors and different sort of layouts as you prefer. Okay, now before we do dive into this video, guys, make sure to smash that like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in learning more about trading and also improving your trading skills and also obviously learning how to use the platforms correct. Also make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video because we will be showing pretty much in depth uh, of this entire sort of setting up your charts and personalizing your trading to best suit your needs. Now without further ado, let's have a look at the charts and see what we have. All right, so here we have a look at the MT5, MT5 uh, platform. We can see we've got a couple of charts set up here. Like I said previously, it might look a bit confusing. Uh, you know, this looks very, uh, very ominous in some cases or might really just put some people off. Uh, so I'll show you guys how we can make this a bit simpler. Uh, if you guys prefer to have a couple of layouts like this you know these four sort of charts or even more that's perfectly fine you can do that uh, but i like to have it nice and clean look at one chart at a time and stay focused on the trading that i do okay so first of all i'm going to be closing all these tabs first uh, they're easily accessible either via uh, short keys or if we have a look here we can go under view we can see all the different sort of things so obviously our market watch is open right now we can see if i click on that or press ctrl m it'll close the market watch the navigator is open this shows you your accounts and different indicators you can add on so if i go to view uh, you can see here navigator is open or i can just press ctrl n on the keyboard close that up and then we obviously down here we've got our terminal so the terminal is just going to show us i'll cover you i'll cover more about that later once we finish setting up our charts we can see we've got our trades, our exposure, history, news, mailbox, calendar, and so on, and obviously journal as well. So journal, just a quick cover, is a good thing to see whether you're connected to uh, to your platform or if you've got uh, internet connection. Generally, does show up here to see if there are any login errors. We can see a scanning network finished, and everything does lock out. To, sorry, I did log in very successfully. Okay, so I can either close that by either pressing on the X here, or I can just go to view again and close. Uh, you know this this over here. So I'm just going to press here, press X, make it a bit easier. Okay, uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to remove all these charts. Got to start making it clean. I'm going to go from the beginning and close every, uh, you know, sort of reset everything. So I'll close everything up here, close all these charts. And another thing I want to do as well is I want to go over here, uh, sort of to this, this little one over here. That I, this is our managed profiles. So if I click on that, you guys can see we have a couple of, we've got default euro. Obviously, the euro will have all these euro pairs on them. Uh, they'll pop up with this. We can see euro USD. Uh, this is different time frames for USD seems like it so I'll go ahead and remove all those as well it just makes it a bit easier for me and I'll show you guys actually we can add on different things so for example if you want to look at the Aussie dollar uh, the euro USD we can all add these on here to make it a bit easier and also uh, load your charts a lot quicker and you know decrease lag in your trading as well so I'll go over to the market overview as well which will have a bunch of pairs up as well so I'll just go ahead and clear all those from my charts just to clean it up so literally stuff from a clean site slate sorry so i'll go over to default and i can go ahead and remove those you know those unnecessary you know you guys can keep them if you want uh, so if you want to keep them i'll show you guys you know how we can add on to them now so I'll, for me i'll just remove them so I'll remove the british pound remove the euro and i'll remove the market overview as well uh, I'll add another one to there as well. But let's quickly, so now what I'll do, I've got default here. So I'm going to open up my market watch, either by pressing Control M or going to view and selecting market watch. And then we can start by adding some pairs. So I like to trade uh, the USD CAD. So you guys can see we've only got the major set out right now. So if you want to add another pair or anything you like to trade, for example, like I said, USD CAD, just click on that and type in USD CAD or whatever pair you like to trade. So there it is. And then We'll just press enter and it should pop up right over there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to kind of bring it over to the chart, I'm gonna click and drag it and pull it across. And you guys can see it's now popped up onto the chart. There's my USD CAD one hourly term time frame. So I'll just go ahead and enlarge that. Now, this right here again is a pretty, you know, it's a pretty standard layout. You might be confusing to some people. I don't like it. If you do like it, that's fine. You don't have to edit it. But if there's anything you wanna change on it, I'll quickly show you guys how to do so right now. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this. Uh, we're going down to properties and then we're going to start editing our charts. Okay, so you guys can see it should pop up here on common. Uh, so I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty fine with all this. If you want to buy a chart, that's fine. You can see this is sort of this little screen over here will show you what the charts will look like once you finish editing them. Uh, you've got line charts as well, uh, but I prefer candlestick charts. Some also. Uh, 
going to go chart shift so i like that so you, you know it gives you a little bit more space on this you can also press that button right up over there uh, it should also do the same thing so that's chart shift and that one's auto scroll as well so auto scroll pretty much means if you scroll back or the chart will automatically pop up uh, to the current price so let's for example if i scroll back in the time you know it should you know, go automatically pop back to the start of the chart okay so let's go back to properties and finish editing our charts okay so show i like to see the open high low and close of the current candle so clicking the ohlc that's kind of what it stands for open high low and close that's of the current session so it will show up here you guys to see open high low and close of the current market price i like to see the ask line as well which is our spread and I would don't like to see volume. I don't like the grid either, so I'll take that away. I mean, you guys can see there are a couple of things here that you can edit, you know, to your preference. And colors, colors for me, you know, I don't really care about, you know, that you can have pre, you've got preset layouts that you have uh, over here. So you've got black and white, uh, color on white. Uh, this is generally sort of what it looks like. The color on white looks pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, but I'm going to completely customize it. So I'll just go back to the green and black. Uh, I'm going to do my background to a white color, uh, which is, you know, I quite like it. It's nice and clean. Foreground, I'm going to change to black. So I'm just going to go ahead and change these colors to my preference. So grid, uh, you know, I don't really care about the grid, but uh, bar up. So I'll quickly change this. Obviously, the bar up is, you know, the candlestick, whatever, you know, the the outside of the candlestick, including the wick. So I'll do bar up uh, and bar down, the same color bar down. So a bullish uh, candle, I'm going to go, uh, going to go, sorry, the bull candle. So I'm going to go that, yeah, that's black. So uh, the bull candle, sorry. So the candle to the upside, I'm going to change that to green. Uh, the bear candle, candle to the downside, I'm going to change that to red. Uh, so yeah, so it's pretty much easy to figure this out. Now the ask price, I like to have my ask price as red. Uh, I'll tell you guys why in a second. So the ask price is actually where uh or you know the bid price actually sorry i like my bid price red now the reason for that being is because when you sell you get entered at your bid and if you enter you get entered your asks so if you buy your ask gets triggered if you sell your bid gets triggered right so i'm going to change my ask price to green as well and i'll show you guys you know as we get more to the tutorials i'll talk to you guys exactly about you know what how that works and everything so don't worry about that too much uh, this is currently what my chart will look like. So I'm gonna press okay, and that's gonna save my chart. Now, another thing is, you know, a lot of you know that, you know, so let's say for example, I'll open up my market watch. Um, I wanna add another chart. So if I, let's say for example, chart window, you guys can see I've got two charts here down the bottom. So I've got USDCAD and USDJPY right now, okay? Uh, now this, the more charts you have stacked up on here, the slower your platform will become because the platform is trying to load all these charts at the same time. So it can really slow down your platform. So I don't like that. And I'll show you guys how we can save them as profiles and it's a bit easier to manage them and flick through them and have them in order because the MT5 actually orders them in alphabetical order, which is a bit easier to follow. So I'll go ahead and close this USD JPY. Uh, so what I'll do up over here, I will go uh, save as. So this will be... And I'm going to save this as obviously USD CAD. So now you guys can see if I go here to my manage profiles, you guys can actually see USD CAD has now been saved. So if I go back to default, uh, and this chart will be here, so I close this. Now, the issue is obviously now if I have want to open up a new chart, so let's say for example, I want to add your USD, click and drag it across, it's still going to pop up with this green color or this preset colors, and I have to go through all the steps to change it. So there's a bit of an easier way to do that. So let's go back to our USD CAD and change those settings. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and go to templates and then I'm gonna go uh, save template and I'm gonna save it as default. So it has to be saved as default without a capital. Okay, so that's how you're gonna save it and you're gonna save that as default. So now if I go to this chart and I open up my market watch, it should show us or the chart that i bring across now should be those default layouts you guys can see this is layout the way we saved it and that's what's going to turn out to be okay so that's pretty plain and simple now now that we've done that so obviously i can save this one now as euro usd so i'm going to go ahead and save that uh, euro usd you guys can see that should be added up on there so now i've got usd cad and your usd i can flick between these by pressing a control f5 on my keyboard or you know the previous one control f uh, shift f5 so i can go control f5 to switch to the next one or shift f5 to go to the previous one okay 
now up here there are a lot of tools that some of us uh, you know don't like to use so if you don't if you know if you don't want to use any of these tools i'll probably show you guys how to remove them so what we're going to go ahead is just right click wherever and then go customize on this one we can also include time frames so i like to have time frames included so i'm going to go ahead and click that one and add time frames i'm then also going to just click and drag this little toolbar right next to over there so you know it gives me a bit more cleanness to the chart and makes the chart a bit bigger but now i can easily flick through the time frames that i want to look at okay now i want to get rid of all these there's a lot of these things i don't use for example shapes unlike text i don't use te text on my chart there's fibs that people use um there's screenshots if you use it if you're journaling uh, so new orders you know i'm going to remove all that i'll go try to solve what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to customize the setup. So you guys can see here is everything that we have on the right hand side. So there are a couple of things here on the left that we uh, have in, that we can include. So we obviously we've got a marker watch that you know we have to go to file to go get it. So if you guys want to, you can put that in there. But I'm not too fast because I have memorized the hotkeys. It's pretty simple. So obviously marker watch starts with an M. So that's going to be Control M to open your marker watch D. So that's going to be Control D in Control N your toolbox or your trade. We, we open trades are obviously a T, so it's going to be Control T to open that. So uh, it takes quite a while, but you can memorize all those hotkeys. And I did that, so I don't need those anymore. So symbols I don't like, so I'm going to remove that. You guys can see it will automatically start to remove those. Uh, Meta editor I don't care about. MQL5 don't care, don't care about that. So I'm just going to remove all the things I don't really care for. New order I'm going to remove that. I don't use bar charts. I don't use line charts. Tile window we will I'll be using. So I'll show you guys how we can set that up. A scroll sometimes i have these in journaling i'm not really too fast i'm on a window so i can just uh, use a clipper to save it so or snip it to save it so that's me uh so i'm going to close this and you guys can see it does look a lot cleaner right now i'm going to edit this one as well um because i don't like all these lines on here so i don't use uh i don't use fibs that much i use the channel I, like i said i use text no other drawings or anything like that i'm going to move the cross a I'll show you guys how to get the crosshair on. So the crosshair, if you guys want to get the crosshair, you can click the little scroll button on your mouse. So go ahead and click that and your crosshair should pop up automatically, right? So that's just kind of how we use it. But we'll talk about all the different functions and features of everything on the charts. So this is how I like to add my chart, okay? Now another thing I like to add in as well is my current open positions, all right? So what I have, I've got a tab up here. I obviously label it as A open positions because that obviously will pop it all the way to the top of the alphabetical order because this right over here you guys can see does sort everything in alphabetical order so i will go over to default again so remember every time you want to add a new layout you have to go to default and then add your chart to there so let's say for example i have got two trades open so i'm going to go over here to my market watch either by pressing ctrl m on the keyboard or going to view market watch if you guys add it in there you know just just open your market watch uh, then i'm going to go ahead and if i want to add two charts i'm going to have to instead of clicking and dragging it across i have to right click on it and then go to chart window so you guys will see that'll add two charts if i click and drag one across it'll replace the current chart that's there okay so just keep that in mind now what i'm going to go ahead i'm going to press this tile over here so this will arrange the two charts and again alphabetical alphabetical order okay so let's say for example i've got a you know two positions open one on euro usd one on pound dollar and i can actually save this so what i'm going to do i'm going to save this profile as a open bad spelling open trades okay so now i've got that saved you guys can see it popped up here to our uh defaults at way at the top so you guys can see there's default uh we can remove this now as well and we can flick through our charts to see what we have so your usd uh, usd cad and there's our open trades if i were, were to have any right so that's kind of how it works fairly plain and simple guys that's kind of how you personalize your charts if you guys did like it make sure to smash that like button also subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in learning more about this uh, or even learning you know how to improve your trading or becoming a better trader yourself guys so thanks so much for watching from everyone here at blackmore market stay tuned trade safe